everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a video that's a little bit different from what I normally do, but I'm super excited to be doing some new content for you. So if you're new to my channel, I should tell you that I do a lot of cooking and cleaning on this channel. So I'm always looking for new gadgets just to kind of make my life easier and it's fun. I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the things that I think you need for your kitchen, not only to make your life easier, but just to make things more convenient and fun for your kids. So let's get right into it. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is this round little, it could be an egg shaper or a pancake shaper, but it closes like this for when you wanna store it, but you just throw it right in your pan and you crack your egg onto it or pour your pancake mix into it, but basically you get a perfect circle every single time, perfect for egg sandwiches and the perfect shaped pancakes. You know, a huge fan of crock pot meals and meal prep and doing things ahead of time. So this really comes in handy. By the way, I'll try and link everything I can in the description box below for you to be able to find these products easily. But this is actually a bag holder and it may sound a little extra, but it helps so much, especially when you're working with like raw meat and stuff like that. So you can store it like this. So it doesn't take up a ton of room put them up when you need it. If you have a smaller bag, you can use it like this. If you have a bigger bag, you can put them up as high as this. I usually hold my bags open and so I can put chicken in there, um, you know, like make crock pot meals ahead of time. And it just helps keep all the surface areas clean and really helps you to stay clean too. Because a lot of times you're trying to put something in a bag, it collapses and gets all over you. So this has actually been a huge helper in the kitchen. Another thing that this could be used for that I haven't used it for yet, but I will since we have Ella's uh, first birthday party coming up, is you know how annoying it is to put icing in the piping bags. So if you just put your little icing bag in here and scoop the icing in that way, that would make life so much easier because I don't know about you, but I'm always getting icing all over myself and the kitchen. In place of saran wrap, I recently found these. They are a very green way to not use plastic. Um, and it's just really simple to store these and it saves money because you're not constantly buying plastic wrap. And I don't know about you, but plastic wrap never stays on anything I wrap it with, but look how awesome these are. First of all, it's very tiny, but it stretches like crazy. They're a little tricky to get a hang of. However, you always wanna go like a size down. Um, this looks too small for this, but however, it's the perfect shape for it, perfect size for it. So you wanna kind of put it on the bottom part and then let it stick there and then stretch it all the way through. and nothing is falling out of this. It's basically like having a Tupperware top on. How awesome is that? And they're leak proof as well. My 
absolutely love this scraper. I actually found out about this scraper from you guys in my cleaning video. I was sitting here scrubbing my cooktop forever, trying to get things clean, and you suggested this to me, and I love it. Not only can you use it on your cooktop, you can also use it on your counter, wherever there's a caked on food. This works amazing, and everything in this video is super inexpensive. This was like under $10. Now I have this cute little strawberry cutter, I guess you can call it. Also learned about this from you guys because you always see me cutting the tops off of my strawberries for the children to eat because they will not eat them with the green things attached. However, when I was a kid, I would grab the green things and eat them that way, but not my kids. So you basically just pull up all of the green like this. Dig this in and then twist it. And then you're saving so much more of the strawberry because you're only taking this part out. So this also is a little tricky, but once you get used to it, it works. The first few times I did it, the uh, stems went flying all over my kitchen, so you really gotta get a hold on it. This is really self-explanatory. You can find these anywhere. I found this one on sale. Um, I believe it was at Michael's. However, these just hold your eggs. And the reason that I like these is because we like to do hard boiled eggs, or as my kids call them, Easter eggs. And so this helps us know that if they're in this, they're hard boiled. If they're in another container, they're not. So I do love this as a kitchen gadget. Next up are my melon cutters. This one cuts watermelon. This is to get those little melon balls. Um, since I already pre-cut my fruit for the week, I'm going to insert a clip of me using them from earlier this week, but these are amazing gadgets and they save time and they give you a uniform shape for your fruit. Speaking of fruit, you've probably seen this in a million of my videos, but if you're new here, you need to know about this grape cutter. Grapes are one of the most choked on items by children. They actually have caused many deaths, so it's super important to cut your kids' grapes, not just in half, but in fours, and this does that for you. You just stick a grape in and it comes right out. I will also um, put a little clip in here from previously this week when I already cut our grapes. This is a vegetable steamer. I love this because we used it forever and then it broke and we wound up just boiling our kids' vegetables and our vegetables and that takes a lot of the nutrients out. So we finally got another one. Um, but the one that we did have, we had for years. So they hold up really well. You can see this bottom part here just sits in any size uh, pot. It can even be one of the really small pots we do that as well. Um, and it opens up however wide you need it to open up for your vegetables and then you just put a tiny layer of water on the bottom so the steam comes up and steams your vegetables instead of boiling them. And then once they're ready, you just grab this little centerpiece right here and your vegetables come out and the water stays in the bottom. 
and it's just easy peasy. Um, this is a juicer. Uh, the reason why I think this juicer is different and more exciting than most juicers is because it has this part right here that will keep the seeds out. So you don't even have to worry about that. And then it will collect all the juice right here, but you can also just pour it out right here. There's a little portion that you can just go ahead and pour your juice out and keep the seeds intact and it's just makes life easier. Um, I love using fresh squeezed lemon on my salmon as well as fresh squeezed limes in my margaritas and in my mango salsa, so this is perfect. All right, so this cutting board is an OG. It's probably time for me to get another one of these. They're super inexpensive, under $30. I love that they come with these little inserts so that you can separate your vegetables from your fruits, from your fish, from your beef, from your chicken. There's a mat for everything. Um, so this is one of my go-tos. Do you need this? Trust me, you need this in your kitchen. show you two things in one. The first thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to use some garlic here, is this garlic press. It just honestly makes life easier. I'm always sitting here chopping up garlic forever and I'm also a big fan, like I always mentioned, my mango salsa. I'll have that recipe linked below as well um, because literally every single one of you that has ever tried it loves it and it's a staple in our house. But watch how the garlic comes out. Look at these little pieces, it's so much easier. I'm gonna put another one in. You can see, so much easier and you get those uniform pieces instead of having like a giant chunk of garlic in your food. Another thing that I've been wanting for a while because I always see it on cooking shows and things like that, and you know that I love cooking, is one of these because a lot of times I chop up food all at once, lots of vegetables and stuff. Um, I'm just going to use the garlic because it's already out to show you how easy it is. But the thing I like is that you can kind of just like get everything and just chop, chop, chop away instead of using like a knife and we have like a big thing out. Um, for example, like I usually cut my onions and then I cut them again, but I'll have this whole thing full of onions. I can just easily go like this. everything up and your cutting board is clean and you got everything on here and I don't know it just makes me really happy inside okay so my kids are obsessed with those like little Enemins uh, mini muffins and they eat like a pack a day and I have three kids so they go really quickly and I think they're like $6 for the box. So recently we've been making our own little muffins. So I got this tiny little muffin tin and I think kids just like bite sized smaller food anyway. And then this one is considered a cupcake maker, but you can actually make mini muffins in here as well. So this is a fun activity to do with the kids. They love it and it's also easier in those hot summer months like right now when you don't feel like warming up the oven. Just turn this bad boy on and then you have, I think, let's see, seven muffins very quickly.
Next up is this awesome little gadget I found. It literally clips right onto any pot or pan and strains for you. So although the steamer strains already itself, I just clipped this on so I could show you since I was already cooking the broccoli. This is another thing you've probably seen in like a lot of our vlogs, but this Mickey, we call it a waffle maker, but it actually makes Mickey pancakes. Um, it's just a go-to. It makes perfect Mickey pancakes every single time. The kids love it and I love it too. Next up is this little drying rack. Uh, first of all, it's so compact you can store it anywhere or it goes over your sink to save space in that way as well. Ella really likes it as you can hear in the background. But look, it's perfect. I'll show you it on my sink. So the kids are awake from their naps. Carter, say hi. Here's one of them. But I wanted to show you these snack cups. I feel like a lot of you probably already know about them, but they're so easy to use. They keep the snacks in the container without them falling all over the floor. And even my 10 month old, well she just turned 11 months old, can use it. She's been using it since around nine months. So it works out perfectly and I definitely recommend these. You can just throw them in the dishwasher. They're just awesome, easy peasy. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Ella, can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Hehehe. <laughs>